Muscle spindles and Golgi tendon organs are sensory receptors that monitor muscle contraction. In this video, we will focus on description and basic histology of the muscle spindle. They represent peripheral proprioceptors. We can find this receptor on the slide with the section of a skeletal muscle. Muscle spindle continuously monitor changes in length of the muscle. When a skeletal muscle is stretched, for example a muscle of a leg, it normally undergoes reflex contractions, known as the stretch reflex. This response is initiated by the muscle spindle. Muscle spindle is encapsulated sensory receptor, about 6 mm long, composed of 8 to 10 modified skeletal muscle fibers, called intrafusal fibers. In contrast to working muscle fibers, the intrafusal fibers accumulate their nuclei in the central area and myofibrils are present mostly peripherally. These intrafusal fibers are surrounded by an inner capsule and a space filled with fluid or so-called periaxial space. This space is enclosed by an external capsule made of connective tissue, continuous with perimesium and endomesium around the spindle. The skeletal muscle fibers surrounding the muscle spindle are called extrafusal fibers. So, how does the muscle spindle work? The central regions of intrafusal fibers are surrounded by efferent sensory endings. A term efferent means that they transport signals from the spindle to the central nervous system. As the muscle is stretched, the intrafusal fibers of its muscle spindle are also stretched, causing the efferent nerve fibers to initiate action potential. Efferent sensory nerve endings interconnect with alpha and gamma motoneurons in the spinal cord. Efferent rapidly conducting nerve endings of an alpha motoneuron cause a contraction of the extrafusal skeletal fibers around the spindle. Stimulation involves gamma motoneurons as well. They are connected to intrafusal fibers and function to adjust the sensitivity of the muscle spindle or simply they contract them to get them ready for another stretching. <laughs> 